Hello friends, this video on rational numbers part 10 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Let us now talk about the third property that is the associative property for rational numbers. Now again associative property when it comes to addition, addition is associative. Now what exactly is associative property? So this property takes into consideration three different rational numbers. So let's say we have three rational numbers A, B, C. So as per associative property it tells that A plus B plus C is equal to A plus B plus C. So basically what we have done is when we have to add three rational numbers. So even if we change the order of how we are adding it, that is we add the first two and then add the sum to the third or we add the second and third and then add the sum to the first. So whichever order we add them, the sum would remain the same. So that, that's what it tries to say. So addition is associative, but when it comes to subtraction, it is not associative. That is A minus B minus C is not equal to A minus B minus C. So this is not equal because when you subtract rational numbers, they are not e like as we saw, they are not even commutative. So basically the value changes the moment you change the order. When it comes to multiplication, again, it is associative that is A multiplied by B into C is equal to A multiplied by B multiplied by C. So changing the order remains, it keeps the product same. Division A divided by B divided by C is not equal to A divided by B divided by C. So this also we see that only addition and multiplication are associative, others are not. So again, we will prove the same things taking examples of rational numbers. So first, let's start with the associative property for addition. So let's consider one rational number A as 1 by 5. Let's consider B as minus 2 by 7. And let's consider C as 3 by 5. So considering these three rational numbers, let us first calculate A plus B plus C. So this comes out to be 1 by 5 minus 2 by 7 plus 3 by 5. Now why this is minus? Because this is plus of minus 2 by 7. So plus minus is minus. So that's why minus 2 by 7. So this will come out to be 7 minus 10 divided by 35 plus 3 by 5. So this comes out to be minus 3 by 35 plus 3 by 5. And this comes out to be 18 by 35. So this is the value that we get for a plus b plus c. Now let us try to calculate A plus B plus C. So this comes out to be 1 by 5 plus minus 2 by 7 plus 3 by 5. So this comes out to be 1 by 5 plus minus 10 plus 21 divided by 35. So this is equal to 1 by 5 plus 11 by 35. So this comes out to be 18 by 35 again. So if you compare these two values, what do we see? We see that A plus B plus C is equal to A plus B plus C. So we see that the associative property holds true for addition of rational numbers. Let's look at the associative property for subtraction. So here again, we consider three rational numbers as 1 by 5, minus 2 by 7 and 3 by 5. Now when we will first calculate a minus b minus c. So this would be 1 by 5 minus minus 2 by 7 minus 3 by 5. So this would be equal to 1 by 5 plus 2 by 7 minus 3 by 5. This comes out to be 17 by 35 minus 3 by 5 which is equal to 17 minus 21 divided by 35 and this is equal to minus 4 by 35. So this is the value that we get. Now in a similar way if we calculate a minus b minus c we find 1 by 5 minus minus 2 by 7 minus 3 by 5. So this comes out to be 1 by 5 minus minus 10 minus 21 divided by 35 and this comes out to be 1 by 5 plus 
31 by 35. This is equal to 38 by 35. So now you compare the two values. Are they equal? They are not. So therefore we conclude that A minus B minus C is not equal to A minus B minus C. So the commutative prop the associative property doesn't hold true for subtraction of rational numbers. Let's talk about multiplication. So for this also we will include, we will consider three rational numbers as 1 by 5 minus 2 by 7 and 3 by 5. So first we will calculate a multiplied by b multiplied by c. So that is 1 by 5 into minus 2 by 7 into 3 by 5. So this comes out to be 1 by 5 into minus 6 by 35. So this is equal to minus 6 by 175. So now let us calculate a into b into c which is equal to 1 by 5 into minus 2 by 7. This multiplied by 3 by 5. So this is equal to minus 2 by 35 into 3 by 5. So this is equal to minus 6 by 175. So compare the two values and they are equal. Therefore, we can say that a into b into c is equal to a into b into c. So we will now look at the associative property for division. So for division again a b is considered as 1 by 5, b is minus 2 by 7 and c is 3 by 5. So considering the three values we will again calculate a divided by b divided by c which is equal to 1 by 5 divided by minus 2 by 7 divided by 3 by 5. So this can be written as 1 by 5 divided by, this would be minus 2 by 7 divided by 3 by 5. So this would be equal to minus 2 by 7 into 5 by 3. So this comes out to be 1 by 5 divided by 10 minus 10 by 21. Or this is equal to 1 by 5 into 21 by minus 10. So this is how we divide, right? So this comes out to be 21 by minus 50. Now, again in a similar way, let us try to calculate the other value. So we have made some space here. So let us calculate A divided by B divided by C. So this would be 1 by 5 divided by minus 2 by 7 this divided by 3 by 5. So this comes out to be 1 by 5 into 7 by minus 2. This divided by 3 by 5. So this comes out to be 7 by minus 10 into 5 by 3. So this comes out to be 35 divided by minus 30. Or we can write it as 7 this is 6. So this can be written as 7 by minus 6. So if you compare the two values, they are not equal. So we can say that associative property doesn't hold true for division. So this is how we have looked at three properties that is closure property, commutative property and associative property. And we saw that some of them are true for addition, some of them are true for subtraction, some for multiplication and some for division. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com to avail free quality education with a simple four-step learning process where you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So what are you waiting for? Please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.